important player for us and be available again to send this in. Fantastic. Third place Liverpool are at Stoke this afternoon with Manchester City hosting Hull. At the other end of the table, West Ham will hope to hold their slide when they take on third from bottom Swansea. That leaders Chelsea were at Bournemouth in the tea time kickoff. Brighton have gone back to the top of the championship after a 2-1 win at Queen's Park Rangers. Glenn Murray put them ahead after the break and Sebastian Ogunori's inch-perfect free kick made it 2-0. Matt Smith got one back to QPR, but it wasn't enough. Brighton are two points clear at Newcastle, but they have played a game more. England's women were held to a one-all draw by Italy at Port Bell's ground in their first match since that Mark Sampson named their squad. The Euro 2017... After a goalless first half, which the Lionesses dominated, striker Jenny Taylor gave England a deserved lead. However, it wasn't to be enough as Italy equalised to share the spoils there. Great Britain face an uphill struggle to stay in the Davis Cup without the world of one Andy Murray. They trail France 2 0 after a disappointing first day of their quarter final in Rouen. Kyle Evans lost in straight sets to Lucas Pui. Dan Evans then followed suit, beaten three sets to last by Jeremy Chardin. And Jamie Murray and Dominic Kinglot lose their doubles rubber to Nicola Mahou and Julien Bellator. Today, the tie will be over. Yeah, a lot of times, um, you know, it's guys thrown together to, to play. Um, you know, these guys obviously played hundreds of matches together, won a bunch of tournaments um, over a long period of time. And, um, you know, Nico's been number one, I think, the last kind of maybe six, seven months, perhaps. So, been playing really well with Herbert, then it's got to final win with him last year, and uh, one Roland Garros, so it's, you know, it's going to be a tough match. So they're finally back to the Grand National, and a red horse will definitely be one of the favourites. Definitely red, that's without a link, <laughs> and Vieux Lyon Rouge lead the betting, 40 years after another red horse, it's red run. We tried that. Mm -hmm. Sounds about and the and horizon. Mm -hmm. Red Room that day was Tommy Sack. To find him 40 years on, you need to come here to Tipperary, where his family trained 60 horses. That's 77 looks a long time ago, and I thought 40 years. It's only like yesterday looking back at it. Tommy rode Red Room more than 40 times, but this was his first national win on board. Oh, you could hear the crowd and everything else. It was unreal. The horse is as popular in this corner of Ireland as he is in Liverpool. This is the end wall of Thomas Town's village pub. People stopping here just have to come into the pub and asking if it's okay if we take a picture of like a mural on the side of the pub. And Chinese, Japanese, you name it, every kind of person from you. American, just in all over the world, right? In racing generally, he's the one horse that everybody can remember. Red Rum in the clear lead from Churchtown. We couldn't believe that had happened. We dreamt it. We wished it. And we were just amazed the horses came home fit and well. Forty years on, Michael Burns returns to the spot he stood that day. His grandfather, Noel Le Maire, owned the horse the family knew as Red. My grandfather, who was 89 years of age, the only time I ever saw him move, because I sat with him all five years, and we, we ran here. As he did as he crossed the line, he just got up and raised his arm uh, and, and sat down again. I couldn't believe the crowd that was there clapping him, and the horse just stood. You would think he was saying, <laughs> I think he was a You know, there'll never be a horse like him again. Wonderful pictures. 
himself or beaten her back. Here in 1971, of the memories, the horse that never failed in a hundred races. Wow. Uh, Mike, you'll be with us.